I'm Dave Danielson, Service and Warranty Department, Excelsior Henderson. This technical video is going to go through what's new for the model year 2000 and problems and solutions from the past season that we've been through. Before we roll into our new topics, I'm pleased to tell you that our 2000 model year bikes are being built and shipped every day. We have some interesting technical changes for model year 2000. So let's step into the technical training room and look at them. Our warranty procedures will be very much the same as 1999. However, we do have a few changes and we'll cover those issues in detail now. As of November 1st, 1999, all dealers will order warranty parts and standard parts through our normal channels. They need to call into our parts order desk or we have a 24-hour fax number that can be used for ordering all parts. Whenever contacting the warranty department, please use 612-873-7034 or fax directly to our office at 612-873-5951. The warranty department can answer any of your warranty questions or offer warranty authorizations when required. Warranty campaigns and standard claims will not be combined on your warranty claim form. Only one campaign number and one vehicle will be used per claim. Packaging is an important topic. As you may or may not know, many warranty parts returned to Excelsior Henderson are here for further evaluation or to be sent on to suppliers for credit. We have had many damaged, unusable, and non-returnable parts received from dealers. We have also had many untagged parts returned from dealers. All returned parts must be packaged so no further damage can occur during the return trip to Excelsior Henderson. Severely damaged parts due to poor packaging will be rejected and returned to the sender. All return parts to Excelsior Henderson require warranty tags. Non-tag parts without dealer numbers, claim numbers, VIN numbers will be considered incomplete and returned to the dealers. Sublet labor times or dollars that would total more than $100 must be authorized. All authorizations must go through the service warranty department. All sublet labors must be documented with repair order and time flags. Undocumented sublet claims will be rejected. Moving into technical changes for model year 2000, we need to look at our 99s. And in 99, we had our turn signals mounted up on the handlebars. For model year 2000, the front turn signal perch is now mounted on the rigid fork which offers a different look aesthetically and also offers some interesting options for handlebar adjustments. Deadwood Special. This model, named after Deadwood, South Dakota, home of many Sturgis rally goers. New colors include two-tone engine with gloss black and aluminum colors. Chrome rigid fork and black painted features added to the front suspension. The final touch in the front is the drag bar look. Raised white letter tires and new black paint with flames on both fenders and the fuel tank. And for rider comfort, we have an all new one piece seat. Let's look at a few changes to other areas of our bike. The running board bracket has a different type weld to the frame. This reduces harmonics. Lean angle has improved from 28 degrees to 31 degrees for improved cornering. Handlebar ISO mounts have been improved for durability. A running change that occurred this past summer was originally slated for the 2000 model year change. 
The engine balance factor has been refined to smooth power delivery. New engine tunes continue to be released in a constant effort to offer more performance and a smoother run. Whenever a new tune is added, the following must be completed. Closed throttle setting, long-term fuel trim, and the idle air control adaption. Our crankshaft torsional damper has gone through a few changes. Our first change was to increase the ramp angle to improve power transmission. Early versions use a nut to secure the magneto flywheel. The newer version will use a bolt to secure the flywheel. The second change was a cutaway to the spring retainer to allow easy clutch removal without removing the damper. Colors for the 2000 model lineup will be Raven Black, Sunburnt Red, Excelsior Green, and Henderson Blue with gold accent stripes. When looking back at the 1999 season, we'd like to look at our problems and solutions. Transmission misshift from third to second. The transmission goes into neutral. New shift linkage and detent wheel will correct this misshift condition. Engine stopping. Warranty Safety Campaign 99-01 corrects the problem with a plastic tie wrap. Throttle body bracket failure. This issue is still under investigation. However, we will replace the throttle body bracket as needed and make sure to check the intake O-rings. Reset the tuning parameters if the low speed run is bad. Air filter fastener failure. New T-nut design allows for more strength. Final drive sprocket spline failure. A new piloted sprocket with a new tab lock washer will be used as replacement. HTD type sprockets will be used for both type drive systems. Cracked rear fender. A new fender shim will reduce fender fatigue. Loose or misaligned engine mount. We now have a new mount flange index and the ISO mount has been improved for durability. Leaking clutch slave piston. We now have seal kit part number 6000-0002 with a new D-ring O-ring. Loose top crown nut. We have increased the tightening torque from 25 to 50 foot-pounds. Sticking starter relay. Starter relay sticking due to low battery voltage will be corrected with a new replacement kit. Part number 6099-0034. Optional oil cooler. An optional oil cooler, part number 6099-0037, Dash 0037 is available for any bikes used in a hot climate. We hope this video will help you with your technical issues as you move into the 2000 model year. But remember, if you have any further questions concerning service or warranty, feel free to contact our service and warranty department. <laughs>